This can't be true. This place looks exactly like all the previous one. The way back was not again. Am I gonna be stuck here forever? What's all this about? I don't deserve this. Why did I end up? I didn't do anything wrong. I think that's the one I did. 
well as a variety of weapons and spells. Please make a deck with at least 40 cards from this assortment of cards. A word of advice, choose a well-formed balance of resonators and chat cards for your deck. Oh, by the way, resonators are your subjects you summon to fight the battle with. On the field, they can attack your opponent and block your enemy's attacks. This looks pretty good for your first deck. Last but not least, you still need magic stones, because without them, you can play the game. These are the mysterious stones with the ability to create will, the magic energy to play resonators, champs, and other types of cards. There you go! We have already prepared your magic stone deck for you. It will prove to be important later. I know the question is late, but what exactly is this card game? That's a good question. You know, it's called Force of Will, and it's an artistic metaphorical representation of the battle of the will of the players. And it ranks with the display of whose will power surpasses that of the other, whose will surpasses that of all others. The answer to this can be found in the battles of this card game. Excuse me, what? Oh no. Mark, you fool, what have you done? You've completely confused the Honorable Celestial! Oh, are you sure about that? Well, for me this confusion looks more like excitement. Excuse me? Ah, that sounds just amazing! Now I definitely want to try this card game! What are we waiting for? See? <coughs> then, let us begin with the first step of your rehabilitation. Of course, rehabilitation, adventure, battle, willpower! I'm totally ready for all of this! Further instructions and rules will be explained to you practically in our duel. Well then, before we begin, I will explain the field rules. Each player's playing field has a main deck of at least 40 cards, a separate magic stone deck of about 10 to 20 cards, a graveyard, and a field. You can find the following areas on the playing field. The ruler area, the magic stone area, and the standby area. Brief explanation of the areas. The field. Here you place the summoned resonator and the J ruler. Chants and additions are also played there and battles are fought on it. Your ruler area. Here your ruler will be laid down. You can call magic stones on it and or activate the ruler's abilities. The Magic Stone Area. Here you put down all the Magic Stones called from your Magic Stone deck. The Standby Area. Here you can place cards face down in the course of the game. If it's a Spell Chant Standby card, you can play it later without further costs. Once its trigger condition is met. Exactly. Oh, and in order to win, it's necessary to lower the opponent's life points to zero. Therefore, both players start with 4000 life points each. I almost missed it. You've apparently added two rune cards to your deck. Runes? Are they special or something? Exactly! You know, you can place up to five different runes as additional hand cards in your rune area. And with costs called Divinity, you can place them on your opponent's turn. Additional hand cards? Mm. That sounds incredibly convenient! Right? Before the duel begins, we place our rulers on the ruler area and battle something like SET THE RULER! Now we come to the coolest part of the whole show! It's time for a cool saying about the upcoming diseases battle, which will will be stronger and clash clash and bam bam! Wait, what? I'm so sorry, just ignore his gibberish. Hmm... Now that I have already taken the first step out of my shell, I have no intentions of backing out. So, let me see how strong your will is, and with everything at my disposal, I will answer you with mine! Now, let the battle of our will begin! Uh, oh, the left here. That's exactly what I meant! Alright, right. wait! Set the ruler! I will begin with the first turn. Right. 
Catch and Learn. Since I'm the first player of the first turn, I have to skip the draw phase. I don't have any wasted cards yet, so I need to skip the recovery phase too. First, I use the ability of my ruler, Reflect, Child of Potential, and put a magic counter on it. I will rest my ruler to call a magic stone. Now, I will rest my magic stone to produce will and to pay the costs of my resonator. I use this will to summon magic stone life form. What can you do with that resonator? Right now, nothing. Resonators are not able to attack on the turn on which they are summoned. But to my next turn, I would be able to attack either your rested resonators or you directly. I see. I can play any other cards now, so I will end my turn. Now that it's your turn, you can draw a card. you did before, I will rest my ruler to call a magic stone. Now I'm resting my magic stone and produce will to pay the costs of my resonator. I will use this will to summon Eratron, Angel of Knowledge. Everton's ability. Enter. I can look at the top four cards of my deck, and if there's an angel resonator among them, I will reveal it and put it on my hand. The remaining three I put on the bottom of my deck. That's the end of my turn. This time my resonator is finally able to attack. I will use the ability of my ruler and put a magic counter on it. I will rest my ruler to call a second magic stone. I will rest both stones to produce two will. With these two will, I will play the chant Winds of Guidance. Okay, it's safe. This chant allows me to search my deck for three chants and then to put them into the graveyard. Then I will shuffle my deck. By resting my resonator, I'm able to execute an attack. I will attack you directly with the magic stone I form. That's the end of my turn. Use my true will to summon Spirit of Light. Save 
thanks to its summoning, its ability gets activated. <laughs> On one of my resonators, I can put a plus 100 attack and defense counter. I attack you directly with Araton. That's all for my turn. That was a very interesting turn. Exactly. Quite outstanding. But now it's my turn. I will activate another ability of my ruler. With that, my magic zone life form receives plus 200 attack and defense until the end of the turn. Use two will to summon Leaf Guardsman. With my third magic stone, I will summon a second magic stone life form. With my first magic stone life form, I will attack you, Evertron. No! What exactly just happened? You know, when a resonator attacks another, both of them are fighting simultaneously. Just like the attack resonator, the attacker suffers damage too. And with that, I will end my turn. At the end of each turn, any damage will be removed from our resonator. Is there no way to protect my resonator or myself from attacks? Basically, this would be possible with chance. Or you block with a recovered resonator. Be warned, only recovered resonators can block. And if you block with a resonator, it gets rested. When blocking an attack, the blocking resonator enters a battle and suffers damage. Keep in mind, if you rest your resonators, they are vulnerable. G got it. With two will, I will summon Skull, Royal Courier of the Future. I will attack you directly with Spirit of Light. That's it for my turn. Continue to be so careful, it should work. I'm now activating the third ability of my ruler. I will draw another card for my main deck, but in return, I put a card for my hand underneath my main deck. I will look at the top three cards of my main deck and put any number of them into my graveyard. The rest I will put on top of my main deck. It's time to get rid of your Spirit of Light! I will attack your Spirit of Light with the second magic stone I form. Wind. Next, I will attack your Spirit of Light with the first magic stone I form. So 
Because this is what she meant when she said, Western resonates as a vulnerable. This ability also has been activated. Another wind wheel will be produced. I use the two new wind wheels and summon wind plate out. Lastly, I will attack you directly with Leaf Guards Man. That's it, I end my turn. I will use two will to summon a new spirit of light. Its ability has been activated. I will put a plus 100 attack and defense counter on Skull, Valkyrie of the Future. With one more will, I also summon a new Eratron. Everton's ability enter has been activated. Of these four cards, I will choose Morning Angel and put it on my hand. The remaining cards I will put on the bottom of my main deck. With my last will, I will place the chant, Give Wings, and equip Skull with it. Due to its effect, Skull gains plus 200 attack and defense and the ability flying to the end of the turn. Smart play, not bad. What's up? You look confused. Well, what does flying mean? Shoot, have we not explained this to you? In short, resonators with the ability fly can't be blocked if the blocking resonator doesn't have the ability. Hey, that means I have a huge advantage. Maybe, but be aware. This advantage only benefits you if the flying resonator attacks. Okay, it's safe. Now I will attack you directly with good. Oh, Skull's ability has been activated. Whenever Skull attacks, a light wheel will be produced. I will use this wheel to summon Morning Angel. The ability enter of the resonator has been activated. With this ability, I am allowed to remove up to 3 cards from any graveyard from the game. I will choose these 3 cards of your graveyard. And with that, I will end my turn. Looks like we need to speed up things. I will activate my ruler's ability and produce one more magic counter. I will summon Lillian, the envoy of rebirth. When Lillian is put on the field, I can take a non-magic stone card from my graveyard on my hand. I will attack Skull with Rachel. Rachel's second ability has been activated. When Rachel leaves the field, I will search my deck for a card and take it on my hand. 
Then I'm gonna shop my day. End of my turn. I will summon Scold, Valkyrie of the Future. With two will, I will summon Commander of Minerva. Uh, hey guys, Commander of Minerva has an ability called First Strike. What does it mean? It means resonators on Jamulas with Earth Strike are able to always be the first to deal damage. For example, if Commander of Minerva attacks a rested resonator on the player directly and it happens to be blocked, the damage caused by it reaches the target before all the damage can be healed. Hmm? That would be my inevitable victory! Looks as if this insane ability isn't only intended for Commander of Minerva, because its ability will be transmitted to other resonators I control, and even the J-Ruler. <laughs> now, I will play the Chant Give Wings, and equip Spirit of Light with it. My apologies, but I'm afraid I have to wreck your plan. to produce two will, and then I will play the chant Gale Force twice. Gale Force is twice a resonator of my choice with flying. <gasps> I will choose Morning Angel and Spirit of Light. Well, then I will attack you directly with Araton. That's the end of my turn. Alright, it's my turn now. It's going to be one white white, buddy. I will activate my ruler's ability and power up Billion, the envoy of rebirth. One will, I will summon Magic Stone Life Form. Then, I will use One Will to activate Windblade as ability to power it up. He's only after my life points. I will attack you directly with Vivian. I will block with gold. Next, I will attack Aeroton with Windblade Elf. In the end, I will attack you directly with my Leaf Guardsman. Hmm. That's the end of my turn. I will play the chant BOMO! This card destroys any resonator on the field! 
become able to fight. You got it. But your J ruler has neither attack points nor defense points. Exactly. Because there are also J rulers that cannot fight, but they have other special features. So I can't just hit it. With three will, I will summon Heavenly Ox. With three more will, I will play Seed of Rebirth. A resonator with a total cost of one will and a resonator with a total cost of two will will be put on the field for my graveyard. I will choose Magic Stone Lifeform and Windblade Elf. Angel card that's not Ophiel, Angel of Guidance, 
whose total cost is equal or less to the amount of light runes revealed on my rune area. I will put it on my field, and then I will shuffle my deck. Now, Aeroton's ability Enter will be activated. The ability Enter of Morning Angel will be activated. I will attack you directly with Gold. Since Gold is attacking, her ability gets activated and a Light Will will be produced. I will block Gold's attack with the Heavenly Ox. Since I rested this card, its ability gets activated. A J Ruler or Resonator of my choice gains plus 700 attack and defense until the end of the turn. I will choose the Heavenly Ox itself. Due to the ability of Commander of Minerva, Skull has the ability First Strike, so you still receive directly damage. That's the end of my turn. Because the brain has been rested, I can use one of her abilities. I will remove two magic counters from the brain and return or field back to your hand. For a target of my choice, this card prevents the next 800 damage that would be dealt to the target on this turn. The chosen target could be my Resonator, Shea Ruler, or even me myself. I will choose myself. with the Morning Angel. The end of your turn, but the end of the stool. Oh. 
my spirit of light and the commander of the Trump cast for my victory. The ability of Spirit of Light gets activated. I will equip Commander of Minerva with a plus 100 attack and defense counter. I will attack you directly with Morning Angel. Then I will attack you with Everton. I will attack you directly with command of Minerva. I will block your attack with Sleep Star Smash. That won't help you anymore. That's right. How am I supposed to not misunderstand? I will explain it to you. As I mentioned before, you should know that we aren't here to block your path ahead. Quite the contrary. It's our duty to assist you to promote your growth. It's true, the ruler slash J ruler, reflect slash refrain, is a very strong card, with which you can actually win almost every battle. But it's an anomaly. In short, this card is unfairly overpowering, therefore it's kind of a sealed fragment for all the time banished from every world and dimension. Banished from worlds and dimensions? Then how is it? There are exceptions. At special times, this particular fragment will be handed to attendants like us. For example, it is important to guide new arrived celestials and to help them to find their paths forward towards the future. In short, it's a tool to teach you the basics of the game and to present the potential of a ruler slash J ruler. Makes sense. Wait a second, does that mean that there are other celestials? That's right, each one of you is on their own journey, the journey to find yourself. But whether you are ready or not, is still your own choice. Well, what do you say? Let's not lose any more time.